I have this daily vlog that I've been doing since January. We've got like 117 episodes, something like that. But on episode 100, I walked in the room, sat down and said, over these first 100 episodes, I've been lying. The very first episode came out January 1st. And what most people don't know is that on December 1st of that year, I quit drinking. The messages that poured in that next day, like one guy said, um, I've been struggling with alcoholism for 17 years and talked to my wife about it last night for the first time. Shame thrives in secrecy, hmm. right? And shame just, when you don't deal with shame, it just perpetuates the cycle over and over again. And so shame thrives in secrecy. So the first step is recognizing that you're not alone in all of this. And so you have to be able to create space for people and you can do that by being vulnerable yourself. People need help in being vulnerable. They need to hear you talk about something that's uncomfortable for them to have the willingness to do the same. But I think a critical component of this, Tyler, you hit the nail on the head is, I think we as human beings, uh, we have to, we have to be able to hold space better for people. We have to be able to create an ecosystem, an environment where you can come to me and you can open up and, and, and I don't respond with, well, well, get your shit together, Tyler. Yeah. Or I don't respond with, well, you know, I know somebody else that has it worse. Mm -hmm. Or I don't respond with just an answer that just reinforces the shame of what I'm feeling or why I'm feeling it, right? Yeah. And the only way we can get better at holding space, because it's in that very sacred space that you know connection is made and the only way we can get better at holding space is by first creating space a lot of times you can tell but sometimes you have no clue the person sitting across from you what they're going through in that moment and i think by offering that little bit of vulnerability on your end gives them that chance that they may actually be like you know what i'm actually going through this right now and all of a sudden it just when it unloads it unloads <laughs> very fast uh, usually uh, but that's what I found lately. It's just like, you never know what someone's going through. Um, and it's shocking sometimes, but they're just holding this stuff in. They're just sweeping it under the rug and they're just walking around with all this stuff bottled up because no one's creating space. And I think that's this idea of creating space, creating space, creating space. And that's what we're talking about is where is that space? Like, where do you go to, to have that space to be able to talk about real stuff um, and be transparent? And it's, it's not, a, it's not a normal everyday thing that, that, that people have access to. Uh, and it's such an important thing, I think, now, just in our society to be able to have real conversations about difficult topics, but coming from a place of, of vulnerability, uh, that that's really the only way we're gonna ever solve any of these problems. Mm -hmm.